Hey YouTube, this is Leo with the Irish Zombie Nation. Today I have a short tutorial for you on how to make one of these. This is a koozie or cozy, uh, however you say it. I've never really figured that out. So these are very easy to make. This is going to be a project you can do in about five minutes. And if you're like me and you don't like chugging your coffee in five minutes in the morning when you're out in the woods, you want to sit back, relax, enjoy the scenery, this is something that I consider a must. So this is my Tokes Titanium coffee mug. 450 milliliter. It'll keep, you know, coffee warm for, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe before it starts to lose its heat and get cool enough where it's not very tasty anymore. I pop this sucker on here and I've got hot coffee, even without a lid on it, that will last for probably close to an hour. If I've never really timed it, but I know it's much longer than without it. So the things you need for this, you can find at any hardware store. You have some of the materials already at your house probably. The one thing you might not have that you're going to have to go to a hardware store for is this. This is called Reflectix. This you will find in the insulation department at any hardware store. It's basically just bubble wrap sandwiched between mylar sheets. So like I said, this stuff isn't very expensive and this much of it, if you're doing small projects like this, it will last you forever. Next thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors. Any pair will do. These are, I think, seamstress scissors or something I found in the junk drawer. Uh, you're going to need duct tape or aluminum tape, foil tape. You can find that in the insulation department as well, probably right next to the Reflectix. I already had some chrome duct tape. This works fine. So last thing you're going to need would be a Sharpie to mark your lines for cutting. So. I'm gonna turn this camera around. I'm gonna start showing you how to make this thing. So thanks for joining me and here we go. Okay everybody, so here we go. I'm going to make another one of these koozies for my titanium cup. First thing you wanna do, get your Reflectix laid out. Take your cup, get it even with the bottom, okay? Take it and roll it up like so. Make sure it stays even, nice and tight. And see how much of this you're gonna need. So we're looking at about right there. So I'm gonna take my Sharpie, make a little mark right in there, okay? Take it out, grab your scissors, cut where your mark is. Right here, you're gonna wanna go shorter, not longer. So cut to the inside, not the outside, because you don't need this thing to overlap. But if it has a little bit of a gap, that's not that big of a deal. And I'll show you why here in a minute. So right here, make my cut, okay? Now, <clears throat> this is much taller than I need it to be, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to fit it like so to find out where we need to place our cut, okay? You wanna leave a little bit of a lip right up here so that your mouth is not right on here when you're drinking. You don't want it to be touching the koozie. So I got this going. I can see about where the bottom of the cup is. Let's open that up. Draw yourself a line right where the bottom's going to be. Start making your cut. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you can make adjustments as you go. So we're looking at about right there. I'm going to go a little bit shorter. Again, you want to go shorter, not longer on your cut. Cut that down. So now you've got your main piece right here, okay? You're gonna to wanna to take this, make sure it fits the way you wanted it to, and it's rolled up just like that. Okay, we got our piece of uh, Reflectix cut. Now what we wanna do is seal the top of this up with a piece of tape, that way that this is not rubbing against your mouth when you're sipping out of your cup. Well, we're just going to grab a piece of tape here. You want it to be the same length as this. Doesn't have to be exact if you go over better than going short on this one because you can just cut off the excess. So, uh, like so. Okay. And again, on this one, I'm not going to need all of this, so I'm going to cut this down in half. Alright, got my cut, rip my tape right down the middle, 
you're using aluminum tape or something like that, you can't do that. You're going to have to be a little more exact with it. So, all right, now I'm going to run this right along the top about halfway. Like so, okay. Flip it over and just seal it down. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, you don't want too many wrinkles in here either because it's going to be uncomfortable on your lip if it does hit that side of it. So, all right, got that down. Squeeze it down like so. Okay, get your excess, excess, I'm sorry, tape on the side here. I think I said access earlier too. Excess tape and cut that off. So, we're done here. Now it's just a matter of sealing it. Take it, place it around your cup like so. Okay, you see there's that little gap right there. It's not a problem. We're gonna take another strip, half strip of tape, and seal that up, okay? That little missing strip right there, having that gap, not a big deal. Better than having it fold over because then this isn't going to seal correctly. So pull this out, wrap this underneath, like so. And over you go. So there we go. And that's it, this part is done. Now we need a bottom for this thing. So I'm gonna slide this on there. See, it's a nice little fit. Get it flush on the bottom. Get yourself a scrap piece of your Reflectix like so, okay? Pull your cup out, place it down, Sharpie, and just trace the bottom of your cup. Like this, come all the way around. There we go. Okay, on this part, you definitely do not want to cut the outside. You need to cut this short because it's going to fit inside this piece here. So take this, start cutting inside your line. You don't want to go too much because you don't want too much of a gap. More gaps you have, the cooler your drink will end up being. You want more of this Reflectix material as possible without overlapping it, because then it looks unsightly, and it just doesn't tape together very well. All right, so almost done with the cut. This is the boring part, watching me cut Reflectix. All right, scrap pieces off to the side. Now, insert your mug back in okay make it flush here you got this piece here like so now what we're gonna do is get another full-size piece of the tape to go around this guy here okay don't want it to be too much extra you can go a little extra if you need to but you know, you don't want to go overboard with it. All right, got this going. Now, I take this and about halfway with the tape, so you got half of it hanging off, wrap it all the way around. Connect it a little too high there. All right. So now we've got this, okay? Next thing, reinsert your bottom right there. Now grab your scissors and you're gonna wanna make cuts on here about every half inch. I'm sorry, about every inch, not half inch. Okay, and you do this all the way around. You know, if you're using the aluminum tape or the foil tape, it's a little easier to cut. I think my scissors are a little dull too, but they get the job done. So, keep cutting all the way around. Like so. And then just start overlapping these. Okay, one after another.
all the way around the mud. And we are about finished with this. Okay, last couple. And that is it. There you go. It's that easy. You can make this for any size cup you want. You can make one for your beer. Make one for whatever. This doubles as my whiskey cup when I'm out camping as well. So not that I need to keep that cool or hot. I like it neat. So there you go, guys. That's it. That is making your own camp koozie for your hot beverages. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, comment below. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment, and all that stuff I always ask you guys to do. Um, so, yeah, anyway, see you guys next time.